Golden goats take shelter from rain or snow when they can. Overhanging rock works well. There are also natural caves. This cave is an empty lava tube from a volcanic lava flow 25 million years ago. The perfect shelter for this nanny and her new kid. There are lots of natural holes and crevices in these cliffs, but they have rough edges. There are also caves and ledges with very smooth edges. How were they formed? After observing the local mountain goat herd, we concluded that the goats are making caves. That may not be their intent, but that's the result of chewing on rock. All mountain goats need mineral salts to settle their digestive system. Every year, the goats spend the three summer months of June, July, and August chewing on the rock walls for mineral salts. The goats use their teeth to dislodge small rocks. They roll the rocks in their mouth to eat the fine powdered salts and spit the rocks out. The entire herd takes part. This two-week-old kid watches the adults and gives it a try. The goats also paw at the rock. The goats spend many hours each day chewing on rocks. Here a young goat chews on the smooth back wall of the largest cave. We estimate the cave is 10 meters long and 4 meters wide and shaped at least in part by mountain goats. The cave is large enough that a goat can run inside. This goat is flat on the ground to reach the rock at the back of a narrow slot could this be a future cave? This nanny and her new kid take advantage of a goat-made shelter. It's a win-win for the goats. They get the mineral salts they need and end up with shelter from rain and snow. How can they go wrong?